Hello and welcome to the learning series here at the Stella Way, where we discuss designing, creating and launching your online course. Today, I would love to answer the question of how do I organize all of my content so that I can create and launch my online course? So let's jump into it. Often when I talk to new course creators, they are confident with the content that they have, and then when they go to upload it to their learning management system, they get stuck. They're usually feeling that it's a disordered mess, that it doesn't really make sense, that there's too much or too little information in there, or that it quickly jumps from one piece of content to the next with no real order. And this is what I want to discuss today is how can we avoid that? So rather than looking at how can I manipulate the content that I have to then look nice or be easy to upload to a learning management system, rather I want to focus on what are four ways that I can take the content I have, reorder it, make sure that I don't have any gaps and then go and upload it to my system. So let's have a look at those four steps. Step one, bring it back to the why. Why are you creating an online course? Are you creating an online course so that you can then funnel people into your one-to-one -one consulting or coaching? Are you creating an online course so that you can start to make a passive income and continually make courses? Are you creating an online course so that you can provide your clients with the knowledge and then in the one-to-one -one sessions, you can focus on implementation? All of these are different types of courses. And by understanding why you are creating a course will then help you to understand what course type you will be doing, which then brings us into step two. Who are you building this course for? Who are your clients? What are their needs? What do they want from your course? What are their goals? And all of these questions are easy to ask you, but for you to find that information can prove to be a little bit difficult. The one thing that I do encourage you to do is go and speak to your current clients. Go and speak to your ideal clients. Listen for information that you're hearing in forums, in meetings, in Facebook groups, on posts on LinkedIn. What are people struggling with and what are their needs right now? And once we understand what are their goals, we can then identify what is our course goal that's going to help them get to that overall point. And the next thing that we need to understand is where are they currently? What are their current experiences? Are they a novice in this field or are they an expert? And by understanding where they are now and where they want to go will help us to create a path from A to B. And that leads us into step three, and that is to create a learning journey. So in this step, we should go back to our course outline. And if we haven't got a course outline yet, this is a perfect time to design one. Our course outline should be focusing on the overall goal. So what is it that your clients want to achieve? Once you have that overall goal, and make sure that there's not a goal hidden within a goal, there's one overall goal. And once you understand where your clients are, you can start to create three to five learning outcomes that will help them get to that point. So consider these as milestones, consider them as steps, consider them as a scaffold of how they're going to get to that overall goal. Once you have these three to five learning outcomes, you can then start to design the competencies so the things they need to learn to be able to do so that they can reach the overall outcomes and goal. Once you have this plan, so think of it as a hierarchy, draw it as a tree on your wall, draw it on a whiteboard, draw it in a Excel document. You have a goal, you have your learning outcomes, and then you have your competencies that are going to help your clients to get to the outcomes and the goal. Once you have that, you can then move to step four, which is information mapping. And this is when we can start to say, well, what content do my clients need 
to be able to learn the things that they need to learn to be able to do the outcomes and the goal. And what I really want to stress here is that we need to focus on, well, what do they want to be able to do? They being your clients. And what are we going to help them achieve along the way? Now, once we have this clear plan, once we have this clear map and an outline of, of the journey that we're going to take them on, we can start to map our existing content in the right order. Now, you might want to do this on post-it notes on your wall where you scribble down pieces of content, such as a demonstrative video will help my clients to be able to achieve the task of creating a new Trello board. And that will help them to be able to achieve the outcome of improving their, their productivity in their business with Trello. So once we start to layer these up and we map out information to our outline, we can then start to identify if there are any gaps, if we need to have more information. We can also start to identify what information do we have, what content do we have that is not relevant for this course goal. So by going through the why are you creating a course, to then identify what course type you want, identify who your clients are and what their current needs are, what their current experiences are, you can then pay that a path for them to take them from A to B, their current experience to their goal. And once you have all this, you can then map your content to each area of that learning journey to find gaps, to eliminate content that's not relevant, and to add more content in. That's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this learning series at The Stellar Way. If you have any questions, feel free to add them in the comments. And if you would like to discuss your current challenge that you're having with your content and put it into your learning management system, feel free to schedule in a 20 minute call completely free with me and we can overcome that challenge together. The link to that call is in the comments. See you next time. Bye for now.